Hello everybody. <coughs> um, generally I do silent flip throughs or flip throughs with music or but today I'm actually gonna tell you about my favorite coloring book. And my favorite coloring book is Ivy and the Ink and Butterfly from Johanna Bashford. I actually have four copies of this book because I absolutely adore it. I have uh, three of this version, which is the um, American English version with the yellowish paper. And then I have a uh, French version, which actually has whiter paper and I find it less nice. So I got my fourth version only recently and I, um, because I just, I just love it and I wanted to have it again, uh, just to be able to start coloring again. Um, and for some reason, I love the smell of this book as well. It's ridiculous. But um, I had finished a picture in the back. Um, this one is actually done with... Let me check. Yep. Still good visible. This one is actually done with, uh, with Prisma colors. Um, and then I wanted to start on another picture. This one. I started on with Prisma colors, so I will actually finish it with Prisma colors. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I can't remember exactly which materials did really nicely in this book. So I was leafing through and then I came to this page and I was like, oh, you know what? I could actually make this a test page. And what I'll do is I'll color a flower in every single pencil type brand that I own. So this is Battle of the Pencils. Um, but then specifically for the Ivy book, because this paper is nice and thick. Um, it's a bit yellowish, but it has quite a bit of tooth. And um, I'll be telling you later which... Uh, uh, what that does to the pencils, because there are some pencils who just don't handle it super well, to be honest. So... Um, I have transcribed this post as well, so you can always look it up. Um, it's on my website, kleurkracht10.com. Um, I'll link it below in the, in the text of this video. Um, but I figured I would just talk you through firstly, um, and let you know firstly about this, what, um, what the deal is with this page and well, we'll go through it. There are 21 pencil brands in here, of which four are watercolor pencils. Um, those brands are the Carondage Luminance, the Holbein pencils, the Pablos, the Polychromos from Faber Castell, Prismacolor Premier, Brut Furnace Square, Starjoy Gold. Oh, I'm sorry, there's 22 pencils in here. I forgot one in my list. Starjoy Gold, Koinor. Um, I use the Charismas because I actually have a set of Charismas. The old Charismas, the pencil that was there before the Prismacolor Premier. The Arteza Expert, the Lyra Polycolor, the Brownsale Design, the Kalur, the Chameleon, Stetler Supersoft, Conte, Stetler Buntstifte, Durant Colorsoft, Durant Inktense, Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer, Van Gogh Watercolor Pencils, and Carondage Supra Colorsoft. I will put a list of these pencils used below in the comments, and I'll actually uh, give you a moment where you can pause the video and just look at the picture and see which pencil you think fits with which flower. Um, so this is your still. <laughs> All right. Well, let me talk you through it. I actually started this picture with the luminance. Now, this flower is from the luminance. Carandas Luminance. Um, I have to say, um, I normally really like the Luminance. Um, I find them somewhat uh, 
chalky sometimes. Um, but in other books, they perform a lot better. Here in this book, they didn't do too well. And maybe that's also due to the color, but they are somewhat scratchy. Um, so I didn't get the layers too smooth. Um, then I was like, okay, I'm going to continue with the Holbein. Um, I have a full set of Luminans, so um, I purposely decided to go with the purple color so that I would have everything in about the same colors. Then I have the Holbeins. This, this flower is Holbein. Um, and the Holbeins actually did really well in this book. You can see the, 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 the texture is nice. Um, and I was able to just layer and layer and layer and layer. Even the last layer, the, a lot of colors ended up on the paper. Really, really, really nice. Then I went on to this one. A slightly different color combination. Um, but these are the Pablos, and as you can see, the Pablo is a really, really hard pencil. And um, in some books, for example, the Kirby Rosanes books, the Pablo does super nicely. But in this book, it's just scratchy. Oh, actually, when going over it with my finger, I can actually feel the scratchiness as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad, actually. Um so, yeah, Pablos are not my first choice for this book. Um, I like them quite often, but not for this book. Then I went on to the Polychromos. This one is the Polychromos. What I find with the Polychromos is that for some reason, they are always a bit more dull, flat, than other pencils. These are my all-time favorite pencils. They are so nice to lay down. Um, they were the first pencil case I've ever bought, and they actually won from the Pablos back then. Um, the Luminans uh, weren't out yet, and I had never even heard of Prismacolor and Charisma and all that sort of stuff. So um, I got the Polychromos. I got those from Germany, because I figured Faber Castell, it must be German, so I must get them cheaper from Germany. I actually got a fairly okay deal for that. Um, I used... Um, four colors here, three there, three here, four there, I think. But I'll give you that list. Um, um, if you want to know the exact colors, I'll post it on my website with the video as well. Um, I like the polychromos. Um, for some reason, they ended up a bit dark here. The white pencil actually does what it's supposed to be doing as well. Um, I used the white pencil as much as possible from the own set. So I used the polychromos white pencil here. And then the Prisma color. This one is the Prisma color. You probably might have guessed that already. Um, for some reason, the Prisma color is always the brightest picture in the in the bunch. And if you're gonna compare, it's always the Prisma colors with the most impact. Um, Prisma colors they lay down smoothly on the paper. They're always a bit messy because the, the paper is a bit toothy, like I said. And the Prisma colors are soft. Um, just make sure to blow your pencil dust away a lot and it'll work out fine um what i do like about the prismacolor pencil is that it's a blending and a layering pencil um then i went to this one which is the brutfuna square and i am amazed by the quality of this pencil every time i pick it up it's i i mean if you compare Funny enough, this one actually looks better even than the Luminans almost in this book. The, 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 the Brute Fooner, for me, the Brute Fooner Square has one big disadvantage, and that's square. Um, in the end, my hand doesn't like holding square pencils, so I get tired hands from them. But the laydown for a budget pencil is pretty damn brilliant. Then I went to, what do you know, the Starjoy Gold. I have to look. It's this one. This one is Starjoy Gold. Um, I was super excited when this pencil came out. Mostly because of the philosophy behind it. Um, these pencils have been designed by a uh, colorista. So a person who colors in coloring books like you and I. And it was designed with the beginner colorer in mind. Um... She for the, the, the pencil set does not have a white, so I used the white from the Prismacolor. 
um, because basically she said, well, yeah, it's a budget pencil and a white pencil from the budget pencil doesn't work anyway. So you need the set and then buy a separate a loose Prismacolor white or a uh, Luminance. I have to say, I like how the color combinations are, are built up. I like how they blend. I don't like how hard I have to work to get um, pixels on the paper, Pig pigment on the paper. Um, I am not sure. The Star Joy Golds are not a bad set. If you're looking for a budget set, those are generally better. But yeah, those are square. Brute Runners and these around. Nice set. Um, not super cheap. Good, but not super cheap. Then I have the Koh Noor, which is this one. Um, it's one of my most recent sets, because I've been wanting the 144 set for a long time. And I had the 24 set, which I thought was fairly okay. But now I've got the 144 set, it's like... I'm not sure why I wanted them. They are so hard. This is such a hard pencil. Um, you have to work really hard to get the, the colors down. Um, generally in coloring books. I have to say, I do not work on paper with a lot of tooth. This is a hard pencil. Um, you can actually keep it quite clean. You can um, um, keep the, the point very sharp uh, and it stays sharp, but it's a hard pencil to work with. Um, also, I don't think the white did really well, but it's okay. Then I went to the Arteza, Arteza Expert. This is my favorite budget pencil except not on this paper because on this well hmm. okay the colors as you can see the colors came out pretty nice um but for some reason it was quite hard work on this paper and i do not know why um i like them um and i like them a lot and i always i've, I've, I've always liked them um they're a bit more expensive than the the brute furners and the color that we're going to see later on but yeah, Arteza Expert. And then we have the Lyra Polycolors. I love how these pencils look. Same for the Brown Seal design pencils. I love how those pencils look. Except... <sighs> it's so much easier if the whole barrel <laughs> is colored. So, um, when I start coloring with the, the Lyra Polycolor, the first layer was always like, oh, it's such a nice pencil. And then when I try to actually layer it on, it, it becomes harder. Um, as you can see, the end result is actually pretty nice. I mean, this is a well-pigmented pencil, and it's a good mid-range pencil, I would say. It's not a high-end pencil, but it's a good, mid, good mid-range pencil. Then we go to the Brown Seal, as I was saying, the Brown Seal design. Um, I actually have a rare 100 set, um, but I decided to stick with colors from the 48 set um, because that's what's currently available in the stores. You can get a set of 48. Um, I'm not sure if you can even get the 100 colors loose even. I don't think so. Um, but anyway, um, these look <laughs> almost the same as these. I am surprised. I, I, I used to think that this was the same pencil. It's not the same pencil. These are actually quite expensive for what they are. Um, I like them. I have the 48 set. They are pretty and they are Dutch. So I've been wanting to like them a lot more. Except for some reason I can't. Brown seal. Then we have the Kalur. And the Kalur are... I actually have a cheat sheet next to me because I don't know all of them anymore anymore either. These are the Kalur. I have to say, Kalur, I have the 180 set. So not the 240 set, but the 180 set. I have no clue if there is actually a difference uh, in the type of pencils. I really, really just don't know. Um, I have the Kalur 180 set with the elephant on the, on the case. Um, at some point, I'll get to material videos and I'll, I'll show about that. So but this is the Kalur flower. I am well impressed actually with how much color there's in here especially if you think that this was the prisma color uh flower and this is the color flower so yeah it's 
pretty damn good actually. So there you go. Then we have the Derwent Color Soft. Um, I am not a big fan of Derwent. Why am I not a big fan of Derwent? Because their pencils are all a little bit too thick for me. They have a thicker barrel and for some reason my hands do not like the thicker barrel and in the end always get tired. Um, I'm looking for which one this one was the color soft. This one was the color soft. Um, I have to say the colors do go down really nicely. Um, blending with a white pencil is a bit shit. Uh, um, I th I, with most of these, get yourself a Prismacolor white and blend with that pencil. But the colors actually did go down really, really nicely. Um, this, I would personally consider to be a finishing pencil. You know, when you when you need your last little layer to just intensify the colors a little bit, that would be this pencil for me. I would not, I just, my hands just don't allow me to do a full picture with these. It's just also the reason why this list does not have the Derwent Lightfast. Um, I have five Lightfast pencils. Um, unfortunately, they're all a different color than purple. So I didn't want to put them into this um, comparison because I can't actually color a picture with them um, and I actually did color something I like some of this stuff is with the Durant Lightfast they perform fairly fairly well in this book I'm just not a big Durant fan so apologies for the people who do like the Dur Durants they're just not well represented here the the color softs did pretty okay in this book but they would not be my pencil of choice for Ivy then let's see ink tents I actually love the Inktense pencil. They are such a different medium. And I had to work really hard actually to get a flower that looks like this. The big, big, big drawback of Inktense is that when you lay it down, you have no clue what the colors are going to be. Because the water activation of the, um, of the pencil changes the color ginormously. Um, and I don't know, I just find it a task. To, to have the, the swatch chart next to it constantly, like, oh, what will this color turn into once I activate it? And while it does get very pretty, I just use it sparingly for backgrounds, and I don't know, I just never got into it. Plus, on top of that, it's got the bigger barrel of the Durant again, so for me, not as good. Then we have the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer. Now, this one got really blotchy for some reason. This is my favorite watercolor pencil. Maybe because I'm quite a big fan of the Faber-Castell stuff. I also have the pastel pencils and the, uh, the pit pastels and the, um, um, the um, uh, watercolor markers, actually, and the aquarelle markers. And Faber-Castell is a big brand. Um, the Polychromos and the Albrecht Dürer have the exact same color range. I love that. Um, I love that I can put down a pencil from this and just continue in the same color there. I love that I can complement them. That that I like once you know the color range from the the Polychromos, you also know the Albert Dürer. I love that they work together. Um, this one for some reason turned out really blotchy. I probably did something wrong with the water. Um, but Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer will be used. Then we have the Van Gogh watercolor pencils. Um, that said, let me find which flower that is Van Gogh. Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, where did you go? Deze, this one. Okay, so the top flower here. Um, I actually have a 60 set, which is the biggest set. Um, I got it through Mark Plaats at some point from someone who had bought them and it never used them and they were lying around and it's a set that you can't I, you can get a 60 set still but i have a really nice wooden box set which is rare and at some point i will get to the materials showing video and i'll show those as well it's a rare set you can't get that anymore but you can actually get a 60 set still i like them they're fancy except the albrecht Dürer and the super color soft perform better so these sort of get lost. I can, however, imagine that if you actually do proper watercoloring with a brush 
and you have the Van Gogh tubes, what to call it, like paint uh, or uh, blocks, basically pants, half pants or full pants, doesn't matter. But if you work with a Van Gogh, then I can imagine that the pencil colors are actually the same color range as the range that they provide with their aquarelle watercolor paint. So I wanted to use them here. Um, oh, the, the snoring you hear in the back, by the way, that's my dog. <laughs> She's old. She snores. There you go. Um, but yeah, this is Van Gogh watercolors. Then I realized I actually have more normal pencils and I got them out. So I went to the chameleon pencils. I actually have a set of chameleon pencils, which is this one. And the chameleon pencils have a range of, I think, 24 colors or a few more, maybe 48 or something. I don't, I'm not, I don't have to count them. Hold on. They're actually here. Um, these are the chameleon pencils. This is an interesting set. So it's one, two, what is it? 21 times two, I think. 24, 25 times two. So it's 50 colors. Um, because the chameleons have like, um, th they're supposed to have like the, 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 the pencil that, um, th these are supposed to be the perfect blending pencil. So, um, and that works really nicely. Um, I, I, I love the design of this set. This, what I'm doing now, I mean, this is awesome. This is brilliant. I love the chameleon pencils to look at. It's a brilliant, brilliant color set. This is also so nice. It's it's good for holidays. If you want to do some extra coloring, they're just not as good. I mean, they just don't have that much pigment. They are a bit better on different paper. This paper is also really hard on them. Chameleon color tones. But pretty, pretty, pretty pencil sets. Really nice design. But as you can see, um, this one, I had trouble getting the pigments down on the paper and it's just not as intense as, um, as you'd like to see them. Now, I then realized, okay, actually I have more budget, budget pencils, but the funny thing is they're not so budget, budget. Um, I actually have a set of Stadler Super Soft, which is a set of 24, it's this flower. And I got those because... People were talking about the Stedler pencils, and in hindsight, this was the Ergo Soft. But I don't know. I I just cannot do anything with these pencils. It was like, okay, I, there's no numbers on on the, on the pencils. This is probably because there's no color in the pencils. I don't know. Um, I I'm just not managing to get anything down. And if you compare as well, um, then yeah. If you look at the overall picture, this is just... I worked really hard for this and I just couldn't get any pigment down. And they're supposedly about the same colors as the whole bind. So, yeah, these are not pastels. They just look like that. Um, then I found in my drawer a 12 set <laughs> from Conte. This one. It's Conte Aquarelle. And... I bought this little tiny, tiny little set, 12 pencils in France at some point. And I bought them because, well, I was on holiday way, 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 I think 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago. And I bought them because I was on holiday and I was like, oh, I want to color a little bit. And well, I didn't want to spend a ton. And then, I don't know, having to drag it home and all that sort of stuff. I wasn't into coloring then. I just wanted to color a little bit. So I got this little set. And, you know, for fun and giggles, I actually included it. I don't know if this set's still available. It actually doesn't perform too badly. It performs better than the Stedler Super Soft. Um, but, yeah, can't say. Then we have the Stedler Boonstifter. Those. These are marketed for kids. It's actually a set with 72 pencils. They're marketed for kids. Um, I guess that must be because... People don't want kids to color at the walls or something because there is no coloring to be done here. The, I mean, they're scratchy, they're hard. I think they're mostly plastic that you rub on the paper and you hope that there's some pigment there. These are just not... I, mean, I, I don't know why they're called coloring pencil. They, they're barely, there's barely any color in them. Um, if you want your kids to never go into art because you think that um, they... they 
like it's just not a good job give them these and they'll never want to color again because these are these are horrible i mean i do not understand why these are still sold but they're still sold and they're not even cheap i mean honestly brute Furner. Same price, I think, for 120 as these about this. I'll, I'll look up the prices, but they're in the same price range. Um, when I bought them in the Brute Fruit 120 against 72, 72 plastic pencils and proper pigmented pencil. I, I, yeah. Like, don't don't get Stedler Boonstifter. Um, I have a review of them on my on my own website at some point. But uh, yeah, horrible. <laughs> Pretty, really horrible. And then I went like, okay, then the last one is here. This is the Super Color Soft. Um, and I always forget how nice these pencils actually color um, before you add water. And funny, the, the white actually did weird stuff here. But before you add water, this pencil does really nice. It has the exact same color range as the Caran d'Ache Pablo. Uh, but I apparently took different colors because this was like the fourth one I did. And this was the 22nd one I did. Um... But yeah, the Super Color Soft is a really nice watercolor pencil. It performs better in this book than the Albrecht Durer. So I'll keep that in mind. This pencil performs better. And I think it will do well with Holbein. So there you go. Um, I've explained all of them, but one. This one. And this one is the Charisma Color. Now, I purposely put that one next to the Prisma Color. Um... I don't see videos on that pencil too often because these are not being made anymore. They were the prequel to the Prisma Colors. Uh, before it was called Prisma Color, it was called Charisma. Uh, Charisma Color, even. And I actually have a. Uh, let me open this up if it wants to. A fairly full set of them. Um, people buy these. Um, a set like this goes for like three, four hundred euros. Um, I didn't pay that. I've been really lucky to get a set cheaper uh, through uh, a second hand. In uh, with the, you can only get them second hand, of course. But I've been really lucky to find them second hand. Um, I had like a small set already. That's why I've got like some whites here and i've got some double colors i think i've got the carmine red i've got it three times here but um these pencils i was like oh they call it the mercedes of the pencils and i was like oh well you know it can't be that good uh and when you lay them down it's like eh, you know <laughs> it's not that much different than the rest but if you look at them in the picture they just really outperform the rest and I'm surprised that they do. I mean, these are really good. I have to say, if I look at the overall picture, um, I don't know who's the winner. I, I definitely know that I will be using the Charisma Color in this book more. Um, I'm a firm believer that they, 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 were, they were meant to be used. So I'm actually going to use them. And I have been using them. Um, and I've been using them as often as I've been wanting to use them. Um, but they perform really well. Argumently, argumentatively, uh, um, perhaps the best on the page. I'm not sure about that. I really like the Brutfuner, how they perform. Somewhat disappointed by the luminance on this paper. Um, perhaps it's the color, but they're a bit scratchy. Um, well impressed by the color, well impressed by the Brutfuner, especially how they lay down. It's really nice lay down. Holbeins are really good. Um, I'm going to be working with the whole bands a lot in here and the Prisma colors, and but I'm also going to be using the Christmas. So there you go. Um, the end result is, you know, in the end, what I can advise about pencils is, if you look at this picture, you can pick out the professional pencils like that. Um, not so much by the end result, but if you start coloring with them, you know, this one and this one, these two, they look similar. They really do. But this one is so much harder work. And you can't get these anymore, but this is a good, really good, I mean, Prismacolor, everybody. So if you have 
money to spend, my advice has always been, if you only have money to spend once, do not get three budget sets. Get one good set, get the Prisma colors, get the Polychromas. Um, po po Prisma colors, Polychromas are still at a decent price range and they're a really good professional pencil for the, the price. Um, Luminance, Holbein and also the Pabos are up there in price and the Christmas are just simply but the the the, the prisma colors the polychromos good pencils available open stock um yeah these are an investment and you you won't regret making it i think in the long run the polychromos are actually cheaper than the prisma colors because the prisma colors they, they just they're soft pencils so they go down um but don't don't get a budget set get an expensive set get yourself a professional set because you love coloring so much more. Um, I I go to the budget sets uh, because I need reminders that the the, the the more expensive sets are just worth the money that I put in them. Um, but yeah, you know, in the end, they they just really are. Um, and yeah, you can get you can get definitely good results with a budget pencil, but you have to work harder for it. And while that is. A somewhat of a challenge to actually get the same results it is much nicer most of the time to focus on combining the colors and the actual process of coloring than to focus on okay let's do another layer because i don't have enough pigment on the paper if you're willing to accept that they're like less pigment and less intense sure go with the budget set completely fine if you want pigment on the paper get the Prisma colors or the Polychromas. Um, also, these two are the most used pencils in any color along uh, you can find in videos. So go for one of these. Um, even though the Polychromas look scratchy here, they normally don't, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I will leave a big bunk chunk of text below the video where you can find links on where you can buy these pencils um i will refer to amazon mostly why because every time you buy something through amazon i get a tiny little percentage from it and it allows me to basically buy the next pencil set with a little bit of help from you guys and it allows me to um, keep doing this sort of stuff now i have I have paid for all of these myself. Um, none of it was sponsored. Um, I'm just a color passionist and, well, I love doing this sort of stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, next time we might just do the materials video and I'll, I'll show you all of this. Maybe if, if anybody wants me to do a swatching of these uh, and a color along with these and just show you some stuff with the with the christmas colors just also let me know um but i think i'll be doing a uh, um a couple of collection videos about which coloring books i all have because i've got quite a few now but also about the material sets um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye